Welcome to STEM Stories with Mr. Ewing. Baseball. You know, to understand anything in history and to know where we're going in the future, it's always a good idea to know where we've been. Knowing the history of a particular subject will allow us to help us to move forward. So we're going to talk about the game of baseball. And in order to understand how to design equipment for the future, we need to know the history of all the different equipment used in baseball. So I want us to keep this question in mind as we're going through different historical relics, artifacts of the different pieces of equipment used in the game. What is the next big thing in equipment design? What are you going to design to make the game better? Because the history of all the equipment that is used over the years, decades, <laughs> hundreds of years, um, not hundreds, but you know, in order to come up with the newest equipment to make the game better, safer, easier, is always looking at what's being used and how do we make it better. So let's take a walk through history. You know, back in the early days of baseball, they were played in the field. And actually, if you look at the uh, player at that base, he's catching the, hand, the ball with his hands. In the early days of the game, they used what they had. Gloves, gloves hadn't been invented yet. So let's look at some particular pieces. The baseball. If you look at our first baseball, uh, re not recorded, but that they have in the tracking of the history of baseball in 19 or 1830, doesn't look anything like the baseballs we use now. One thing though is consistent is the use of the material and the pieces that are stitched together. Now remember, you can't take a flat piece of leather and stretch it around a sphere. So it's gonna have to be done in pieces. So it was stitched together and then it slowly progressed to get to where we are today with the uh, feathering stitching and the pieces. Um, but what it was made of inside has also evolved over the years. So if you get a chance, you should do a little research and say, do, do a search and look at what's inside a baseball. It's actually pretty cool. My favorite though is a golf ball. The bat. You know, our early days of bats doesn't look anything like what our bats look like today because there's been an evolution of understanding the reaction of the ball and the bat and the materials that are being used. Now, cleats, the shoes that the baseball players use. If you look at some of these early cleats, they don't even look comfortable, let alone effective, compared to what we know of baseball cleats today. But it was an evolution of design, you know, from our clunky, and I'm sure the original shoes that people wore in uh, playing the game of baseball or stickball in the streets are our shoes, our regular street shoes. And then they realized by adding these little cleats to the bottom, it gives the runners more traction in the fields or in the dirt. I think one of the most amazing evolutions is the glove. Back in 1860, it was just gloves that barely just covered the palm of your hand, not even your fingers, and then it slowly progressed. I love the one of 1900, just looks like a big padded winter glove. And then they added, if you notice, the space between here was an area where the baseball player might lose the ball, so they started adding in an extra section in there to help the the uh, baseball players catch the ball. This is amazing. Can you imagine playing baseball nowadays and wearing a hat like this? I actually think it's kind of cool. Um, but the attire that the baseball players wore has evolved over time. Even the big handlebar mustaches. Do some searches of facial hair and baseball players. I think you actually might be amazed. But yeah, to get to where our hats are today, it was a process of evolution and what worked and what didn't work. Now, if you look at these hats, my guess is they didn't stay on really well compared to the hats that we have now that are much more form fitting, fitted and actually have some stretch and elastic. Uniforms, major evolution, mainly because we've over time scientifically discovered better materials and better materials that work with athletics. In the early days of baseball, they're wearing outfits that are made of cotton. And although comfortable, doesn't really form fit or stretch with our bodies. And I think 
the equipment that has changed the most over time to me has been the uniforms and like I said it's mainly because scientifically we've discovered better materials breathable materials stretch stretchy materials but I'm guaranteeing you that those things are going to change so if you look back the history of not only the game but the equipment that we use from old time where it was a lot more about comfort comfort and convenience like he's got a cardigan sweater not gonna fly in this day and age to materials that are much more uh, designed to stretch breathe move everything to make us much more comfortable during the game but actually I'm guessing that there's some support in these materials as well so what's next that's what you're gonna decide you're gonna pick a piece of equipment that is used currently in our game you're going to do a tracking of the history so choose a piece trace its history and then use the knowledge that you gain to come up with the next best thing redesign it or design it but in order to do step four you really have to go through the other steps and understand its history where we've come and where we're going to go with it that's probably the most important thing so your final project I'm gonna suggest not only do you draw it out and design it but use a 3d printing software like Tinkercad to create the actual model of what you're thinking if you're designing a bat and it's gonna change the curve or the shape whatever you're gonna come up with design it and actually create a 3d model um, I particularly like Tinkercad because it's a free software it's pretty relatively easy to use whether we're gonna print or not we'll figure that out later but to, to be able to look at something in three dimension move it turn it do everything and it actually allows you to do some work in color we can't print in color with the uh, equipment that we have but you can actually do the designing in color it's pretty cool so there's your challenge understand the past to get to the future of the game of baseball and more specifically the equipment of baseball it's been stem stories with Mr. Ewing. Thank you.